Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to give you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of April the 13th to April the 19th. I want to thank you for coming in today again and watching my weekly video. We're starting our week off with the Queen of Fire. And the Queen of Fire is all about um, you stretching your wings and learning to fly again. And not to underestimate yourself. This is telling me that you've been planning something and wanting to do something, involved in something, and you've been hesitant and you're lacking confidence. And it's saying that you need to just spread your wings and fly and do not underestimate yourself. Um, and assert your independence and your creativity. On Tuesday, you've been given a water card, and I love this card. This is the Ace of Water. This is all about some of you that are falling in love. And for some of you, it may be also the resurgence of a love coming back into your life in a relationship. The resurgence of a relationship. Um, for some of you, uh, it could be a new home. For some of you, it's the resurgence, again, of spirituality and enhanced intuition. On Wednesday, you've been given the card, the Dreamer. And the Dreamer is all about you taking a leap of faith right now. And uh, to follow your dreams. Because along the way, you're going to run into some unexpected opportunities that are great. And you need to assert your independence now. And you need to approach any challenging situations coming into your life with uh, be optimistic about them. Because this is a good card. Go with your dreams. On Thursday, you've been given the Queen of Air. And the Queen of Air is all about you showing your independence and, uh, and, your, and, and your experience. And you're being objective about decisions you're making right now. It's also about you're the type of person who cleans house, basically. You get rid of the drama in your life. And you get rid of things that don't serve you anymore or, or bring any purpose into your life. And that's good because you've learned to do this because you've learned from experience you become become very wise in that department. Also the fact that um, you situations that come into you, you, you uh, have learned to be to handle them with almost with humor, not let things get to you and, and uh, pick away at you. On Friday, you've been given the five of air. And the Five of Air is um, all about right now. Um, you, you're faced with a choice and um, coming into you. And learn what you can from the situation because it's an unwise choice you're making. And um, you need to review everybody's motives because not everybody's motives are the same as yours. Now, the path that you're on right now is the right path. But you're going to be faced with a choice and it's it's not good right now, the timing to make this choice. Okay, that's what they're telling me. You're on the right path, but the choice you're about to make is not the right time to do it because it will be a wrong thing for you to do. On Saturday, you've been given an Earth card. And this is the Two of Earth. And it's telling me that there's a lot of things going on in your life right now. And the Earth card uh, is often um, to do with, uh, I've said this before in my videos, it has to do with money, uh, abundance, how the material world, how we make our living and our jobs. And this one is saying right now that you have too much going on at once and that you need to make a decision about something. But this decision you're going to make, you need to, again, like the previous card, uh, the the um, the Queen of Air said, this decision that you're going to make, uh, don't get angry with it. Um, make it peacefully. On Sunday, you have been given the Knight of Earth. And again, another Earth card. And this card is saying to me that you're up against some certain things right now this week. And you need to buckle down and get to work and get things done. There's things that are coming into you that... Um, you have to get done and honor your commitments um, and, you, and, and get this work done at the end of the week. And I'm sure you're going to get it done. Uh, but they're saying that right now you need to honor the, your commitments and do it. 
on the final card that you've been given, I pulled an oracle card as I did the last few readings and I've had a lot of positive feedback about these cards and everybody seems to be liking them because it's interesting how they tie into the weekly reading. And this one here is called, What Do You Desire? And, you know, you had the card about um, it, about the dreamer and, the, and, and you following your dreams and decisions that you've had to make this week. Uh, a lot of things happening in your life. Even this business about you, some of you falling in love and the resurgence. Of, it, it talks about balance and all these decisions. And this card says, what do you desire? This is about you and what you want in your life. And I'm going to read you this card because it's, it's a beautiful card. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. You've got control over that. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So sit down with yourself. Ask yourself, what do you really want? Believe it and manifest it. And it will happen. I hope this was a great reading for you, Virgo. I hope it brought some interest, in, interest into your week again and was a bit of a benefit. I want to thank you again for tuning into my video. I look forward to all the positive feedback that I've been receiving from people watching these. I want you to know that I hope you have a wonderful remainder to today and a fantastic week ahead. If you should ever want a private reading with me, my website is www.brenda.com dot, pardon me, Brenda Tarot, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. That's Brenda Tarot info. I want you to know that I stand in the circle of light for you. And I leave you with a quote today. Follow your passion and success will follow you.